What's going on, everybody? My name is Michael Weir, and today we are talking about Prey for the Devil. Now, Prey for the Devil is the newest exorcism movie. It's also the last movie in theaters to open right before Halloween. I should say the last scary movie to open right before Halloween. That's better. You get the idea, though. It's the final movie before Halloween came out. So last night, my wife and I went to a haunted forest, and it was awesome. And then we were like, hey, let's go see Pray for the Devil, because we're still in that spooky mood, which is why they released it the weekend of Halloween. I get it. Although, after Halloween, I don't see this movie doing much business, because people are over the spookiness. They're like, hey, we want to move on to the holidays. We want to see Lindsay Lohan's new Christmas movie. We all are waiting for it. Anyway, Pray for the Devil is the brand new exorcism movie. It's Halloween weekend. Let's do the review. Descend into the mouth of hell, shall we? And so guys, Pray for the Devil is directed by Daniel Stom and it stars Jacqueline Byers as Sister Anne. And here's the synopsis that I can give you for this movie based on what I saw yesterday. So the Catholic Church has seen an uprising in demonic possessions around the world. And so instead of just training priests at an exorcism school at the Vatican, they decide to open exorcism schools all over the world. And Sister Anne is determined to be the first female exorcist because she has a past with what she believes is demonic possession, not with herself, but with her mother. And so she wants to become the first female exorcist and there's people at the school that are okay with it and there's people at the school that are not okay with it ultimately because of some events that happen within this movie some scary events uh they allow her to start learning how to become an exorcist and that is basically the plot of this movie without spoiling things because i could go into some more things but they would really start to get to spoiler territory and i don't want to do that let's just get into my likes and dislikes before I spoil something. All right, so the first thing I want to say that I like about this movie is the acting. I actually enjoyed the acting from everyone in this movie, including the child. In the last uh, review that I did, I talked about, hey, you know, like children just irritate me in movies most of the time. But when I am not irritated, I feel like I should say good things. And so Posey Taylor playing as Natalie in this movie, a girl that is possessed by a demon, does a fantastic job. And I wasn't annoyed by her character. That's a big plus for me. The next thing I'll talk about are the jump scares in this movie. Now, there are jump scares but they're not used to a fault like a lot of movies do. A lot of movies that go jump scares are just to a fault. It's like every three seconds you're like, ugh, stop. But in this movie, I feel like they used, they kind of balanced it out. They were like, okay, we're going to make a very eerie situation and you may or may not get a jump scare or where you think you're going to get a scare, you're actually going to get a scare from over here. And I appreciate that. It's like subverting your expectations for where the jump scare is going to be. And I appreciate that. There were also two good twists in this movie, and I appreciated those twists as well. One of the twists involves Natalie and Sister Anne, so I won't get into that. It's very spoilery. And the other twist in this movie actually involves the two of them again, but in a different way. I, It's hard to explain without spoiling things, so I'll just say that both twists are unexpected and both twists work for me. One of the twists goes in a completely different direction than I've ever seen any Exorcist movie do before. And I really appreciated that. I, I, I can't tell you how fresh it felt. This twist that was at toward the end of the movie is like, it was a very fresh twist and I just appreciate that. I guess I have two gripes for this movie. Uh, neither one of them is like, oh my God, this movie's terrible, but it was strange like at one point they do this scene transition from the catholic school to an apartment building and so they like show street and the cars and stuff so like you know kind of get you to that next scene but all the cars in that scene look like they were built in the 70s or 80s and i was like did you guys use weird stock footage from like the 70s or 80s to kind of transition that scene it was weird because it takes place in present day and there's no reason that street should have been filled with cars from that time period but i noticed it and it just that scene in particular, that transition scene, didn't fit with the rest of this movie that takes place in modern day. It's like that scene was like, wait a minute, is that now or was that then? And then you're back to right now. So it really made no sense. I'm going to need them to transition their scenes a little better. That's just my thought. The second gripe I have seems like something that was tagged into the movie after the fact. Like they finished the movie and they're like, we need skepticism. Too many people believe in all of these demons and so there is a character in this movie named dr peters who i believe only shows up with sister Anne to talk about her previous problems and tell her it probably wasn't demonic possession and now i get the angle this movie was going for and using that character 
because they were giving you, the viewer, a little bit of doubt. Like, okay, maybe her mother was just messed up in the head. Or maybe Sister Anne is a little messed up in the head. And so she's not actually seeing demonic things. Throughout the rest of the movie, you definitely... This is an exorcism movie. There's definitely demons. But it was weird to me in that they used this Dr. Peters character to kind of give the viewers a different angle and kind of wonder. But there was no reason for it in this movie. And again, the Dr. Peters scenes were only between her and Sister Anne. So it makes me wonder that maybe they tested this movie and either it wasn't long enough or somebody was like, yeah, but why does everybody agree with exorcisms? And they were like, you're right. We need to add some scenes because I believe the Dr. Peters character was only in scenes with Sister Anne. And that's weird because all of the other characters in this movie kind of interact with each other. But that character in particular only interacts with Sister Anne. Maybe I'm reaching. I don't know. That just... It, that that has stuck with me since I saw this last night. I was like, why were they the only two in those scenes? It just felt tagged into the movie. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But I don't think I am. With all that said, guys, ultimately, this is a fun exorcism movie. If you're looking for a horror movie around Halloween to watch, this won't be a bad one. It's also not going to be on my favorite movies of the year list. It just, it was an exorcism movie. One that didn't annoy me. One that didn't have a uh, scene where a demon is puking out its guts or a scene where it's just laying on a bed yelling fuck me like I'm so appreciative of that fact so I give the movie points for that but ultimately it's a fun exorcism movie it's a scary movie if you like scary movies you'll probably enjoy pray for the devil and that's my movie review guys if you enjoyed this review make sure you hit the like button if you want to share this review with your friends make sure that by hitting the share button if you have seen pray for the devil and you've got thoughts and you've got comments we'll put those in the comment section down below and let me know what your thoughts are on those sister and dr peters it's very interesting so let me know your thoughts there and finally guys if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do that because i got a lot of content coming your way the holidays are coming up upon us right after halloween is over so there'll be holiday material coming next yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time All right, guys, I'm editing the video. This is the after credit scene, and my basement has been decked out for Halloween all season long, but tomorrow I share it with all of you. So on Halloween, I'm going to drop my movie theater room for Halloween. I don't know what I'll call it yet, but you're going to get to see everything I've done to my, my basement for Halloween. So look, spoiler. <laughs>